Hello, uh, today I'm going to change the spare tire hoist or jack or whatever strap that holds the spare tire on. But first, I wanted to show you something. These are the two models that you see on the internet all the time. And for some reason, the, man, the people who are selling these things, they don't show you what, these, what the other side of this device looks like. I don't understand why but this one has a little sleeve on it this one just has the spring but it's essentially the same thing the same size that's the same size spring that's the same size sleeve everything else is the same all the little connectors are the same the only big difference all oh, all the bolts patterns are the same you got your two bolts up here two there two there this will fit in each other's spots so the only difference is this side as you can see one has a, a bolt pattern and the other one has a hook pattern now when you go to order these things I will put the part numbers of both of them and I'll put them on each side so you can see which part which one's what when you go to order them But I ended up getting both of them because I didn't know which one I needed <clears throat> But they will fit in each other's now here's where it gets uh, You have to find the right one because either one will fit in there, but you have to find the right one all right, they they do make an adapter that you can put a socket end on here and it goes through the thing and then you can do it that way but there's no need to worry about that first what you want to do to figure out which one you have you need to go into your jack spot which is right here you need to get out your your jack wait a minute that does have a thing on it well get out your jack Unwrap your jack. Unroll it. Hard to do with one hand. Unroll. Ah, unroll. And you end up with this. Okay. If you have this, then this one will fit in here and work. That's the one you you need. Let me see here. This one will fit in there like this. If you have this kind. Okay, that doesn't help you, does it? Okay, so if you have this with the square, then you want this one. This is what you use to crank it up and down. Now... You get this with it, which actually works with your jack over here. As you hook on your jack. Now this hook is what you need in order to unscrew this one. So technically, you could get either one of these and it would work. But I would suggest you get the one that you actually got. But, I didn't think this, but, yeah, you can use either one. But, get the one that you have already in your vehicle. I thought I was going to be able to do this, but, huh. So, how this works is you hook it in there like that. And, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. And then once you hook that in there, then this goes in there like that, and you turn this stick like that, and that would unscrew it and screw it up. This would unscrew it and screw it up. I don't know. Anyway, I have this one. I'm going to replace this one, but this is the difference between the two models. I think like the third 
2013 and up have these and then uh, 2012 down I, I don't know if the L3s have these but these are the older models and I like these but I think the reason why they change it over to this because some mechanics and stuff they put a socket on the end of it and they fire it up and that thing goes way too fast and the the cable gets bound in there and it destroys it that's why I'm changing mine because I found out that a mechanic actually did this on mine there it is let me lower it I'm going to put it on slow Let me show you what's going on. Sometimes if you overturn this whole thing Then you have a, a problem But I know this one is bad All right, let me get it down a little bit long All right to get this out you have to turn this plate. Let me. Ah, uh, can't seem to do this. Okay, you turn it, and then this gets out. You take this up, and see where this will, this indentation is. You take this and you twist it just like that, and it'll come right out of the the tire just like that. See how rusty bad this is. I just wanted to replace it but I think mine is actually destroyed because of that I still have this temporary spare which I gotta fix I gotta buy another rim put on it because I don't like this at all okay these huh all right there they are all 10 millimeters let me pull this one off pull that down that's a 10 millimeter let's see what this is that's a 10 millimeter too yeah, pull this one off. Okay, one more. And all four of them off. I got a brook on. I and mean, then this just, just slides right out there. Just like that. Pull. Right, all you do is take the new one and you put it through the hole. And you line up the bottom ones. And then you put the nuts on. If I can get the nut on. The nut on. Not on. Let me put the other one. Not on, just like that. 
And I'm going to use a hand wrench now because I don't want to over tighten it. Just snugging them up at the moment. longer extension. Alright, just snug. Now, take this and this I'm going to feed that through, try to get the nut on the other end to line up. I think I got that one. And then we take this one. We're trying to get the nut to line up. I don't know why these kits don't give you new nuts, new bolts, new nuts. It would be nice. But, oh well. Tighten them up a little bit. I think I got it. Tighten it up a little bit more. I think I got it. Now, little, little tip. If you take this and you put it up here, and get it out of your way while you're putting this on. And you want to get these fairly tight, hand tight, first. Don't use an impact on this. You want to get it snug, but you don't want to over tighten it. So I'm using it ratchet that's too big at the moment. I should be using a small ratchet. That's good enough. This one's already good. Now I'll go back in here. That's good. That's good. That's good. Let me put this down. All right. So, one other thing is that I have the aftermarket jack on the aftermarket hitch on here. If you're planning on adding a bigger tire then you do not want to get this hitch because the fact that this sits low this right here comes inward and this bolt comes inward you when you put bigger tires on here bigger tire than what's factory factory size tire this will not fit even if you deflate the tire down it's going to be much harder to get in here than if you had the regular one that came from Land Rover because you don't have this hole here and you don't have these things sticking out. But this is what I have right now because I didn't have the factory one when I bought the car and this harness, the harness went up and around. I think I got it from uh, 
Atlantic, British, British Atlantic, something like that. I got it. It was nice. It works great. Gives me the plug and stuff in the front. Um, this is solid now. All I had to do is wind this down, put my tire back on, and go that way. Now, and up here, and we're, what we're going to do is, is to actually loosen this until the cable falls down below. So that I can put the tire on. Alright. So, let's see how that works. So, what I'm going to do now, since I got this out, I'm going to take a piece of towel. And we'll get I'm going to get some grease. And I'm going to put grease on the cable. I'm going to put it way up here at the top. Because I want that grease to go in the cable reel. And then I'm going to put a little bit thinner grease down here. Because they easily rust out. And all I'm doing is putting a very light coat. I put a thicker coat up at the top because I want to get it on the inside to wear the rest of it. And then down here I'm just putting a thin coat on it. Yes, it's going to be a horrible mess later on, but this will not be rusty. Yes, I know this is supposed to be stainless steel and all that, but honestly, I put it on here. You do what you want to do, but I believe in greasing it up. And it will go up a lot easier. I'm not putting grease way down here. I'm just putting it on the cable. So that when the cable goes up in there, it'll grease the rest of the stuff. Okay, so pretty much after we do the greasing, we're going to slide the tire back underneath the truck. You don't have to be perfect. Remember that little notch right there? Let me move you over here. All right, remember that little notch? We're gonna tilt it over on that notch. And we're gonna drop it in the hole. It's in the hole now. Now I'm gonna crank it up. And you can watch down here. I'm gonna crank up the tire. And watch it go up the hole. Now the little jack goes right dead in the middle. We we'll start raising it up. 
Now this is where you got to help it. All right, at this point is when you got to help it along. You got to put the back of the tire up first and push it that way while you're turning it in. Now you gotta get back under there and do it again. You tilt it up like that. Now check it again. Make sure it's up in there. It is. Alright, now we just crank her up the rest of the way. And there it is. Pretty much you just crank it until it gets snug and then you stop. And at this point you're done. Put the little cap over top of it. Land Rover. And then you put everything away. Now this one is the factory one that came from the uh, came with the truck says Land Rover. There's a part number 5H221A486BC. And that one says W584A there. But you can see how bad this is getting. All rusted out. And this is why I greased it to put some grease in this golly here. So that it would be easier to, to turn up and turn back. And then it will also allow us for grease to get in there. And then it will help that along. But you can see how it's factory. You can, oh wait a minute, that's dirt. I thought that was the color. But yeah, this one has been run too hard. I think it was run the other way. The opposite direction and it broke the winding feature in it so that's why i had to replace it it just doesn't have enough somewhere along the line it broke its thing but anyway putting it up everything else seems to be and this is what happens after this is a 2011 so you're looking at all this sometimes it just needs to be replaced because you do not want to be on a stranded road trying to bring down your spare tire and not get it down if you have a Land Rover wind this down wind it back up at least once a year maybe twice now nah, once a year would probably be enough but you got to keep this thing moving These are stainless steel wires, but you can still see how bad they look. But I'll go scrap this off, get a couple bucks. Because this one don't work anymore. All right. See you guys later. Bye.